So boat pose is great for uh, stability, it balances your hips, it's wonderful for core strengthening and posture. So we are going to start with option number one. Hands flat behind your knees. You don't want to dig in with your nails. Sit up tall, shoulders down the back. So you want the spine to be nice and straight. Lift the chest and bring your chest forward. So this is one option. You should be feeling a little bit of warmth in the middle of your belly. If you want to go on a little bit more from here, you can come up onto your toes. Again, readjust, chest forward. We're breathing. If this feels good, we can bring up one leg at a time or both legs together. Again, keeping your hands flat, sternum up, shoulders back. A little shaking is good. If you're feeling adventurous, let go. Start them up, shoulders back. If you feel like you're starting to round, you're gonna roll back. Bring yourself back up into position, come back behind the legs. If you're really feeling adventurous, you can grab your ankles, lift your legs high, or go for the big toes. Stir them up, shoulders back. And for a little fun, up into a V. And with this version, you're going to feel a nice stretching in your thighs. Close the legs, bend the knees, cross your ankles, and stretch forward to release. Cross your ankles the other way and stretch forward. Round it up. So start with the beginning, work yourself up. You can extend your legs without holding on. I like to hold on. Do this as often as you can, your body will thank you for it. Namaste.